Hey guys, it's Joanne. Um, welcome to the um, Pinterest Pinspiration Collaboration. Um, this collab is hosted by Creations by Kimber. And don't forget to check out the other ladies listed in the description down below. And subscribe, like, um, just check out everybody's channel. So I just wanted to come on and um, show you, this is a swap that I'm doing with Bambi. And Bambi really tests me and sends me over to Pinterest with every every swap idea that she has. So this month um, she wanted to do altered playing cards. And at first I'm like, okay, yeah, that's fine. And then I just sat and I had no idea, no idea. And I wanted to kind of, um, my original idea was to take them and somehow combine them into maybe like a flip book or something like that. And that's what I had found on Pinterest. But then I kind of tweaked it a little bit and did it this way. So I'm just going to start by showing you. We had to do six cards. And I'm also going to claim this maybe my first uh, mixed media piece. I don't know if it truly could be considered that. But all right. So on the back of each card, I just took. All right. So let me back up. I decided to do like a um, patriotic 4th of July kind of theme. Well, guys, I had nothing for 4th of July. Um, the only thing I had was this, and I cut that off of like a table center thing from a party I had a couple years ago. Um, so that delayed me as well because I had to, to get some stuff. So I ordered some stamp sets, some stickers, and then kind of went through everything I had and um, found everything else. So, all right. So on the back of every card, it's the same. I just took um, red, white, and blue, but it's like the turquoise because I didn't have blue, um, acrylic paint. And I just kind of swirled it around, right? To give it that textured mixed media look, I think. <laughs> um, the front of the card, I just coated with some white chalk paint. Um, Cause you know, I asked Bambi about it. I'm like, are we supposed to be able to see the numbers on the card? Are they supposed to be completely covered? So I went with the chalk paint to, um, you know, so that we can see the numbers. So we'll start up top. And this one's just 4th of July. I used um, a stamp there. I had, I found some, a few um, like pocket letter cards that people had sent me that were patriotic like. So I used that one and then I stamped the 4th of July on it, used some stickles to sparkle up a little bit. Um, and then I had this blue, I'm telling you, I was just pulling out everything I had, red, white, and blue. Um, the buttons I did have to get, I got those from Walmart, but I thought that was a cute idea. So I decided to take this ribbon and just run it down so that she can hang it. So here I have a doily that I had in my stash and then this is a napkin. Um, and I mod podged that napkin on top of the doily and then just the buttons to offset everything. Here again, these are pieces from that centerpiece that I had. Um, and then on some of them, like here, like this one, when I was painting it, the paper got stuck to it, the newspaper, but I left it because, you know, this isn't supposed to be clean and perfect. This is my messy mixed media project. Um, this one here, I took, these are from a magazine that I got, maybe Better Homes and Gardens or something, of different types of fireworks, so I cut those out. And then this was part of the stamp that I bought, and I just fussy cut the um, fire fireflies in the little jars. I thought that was cute. Um, this stamp here um, came with the stamp set that I got, and it's fireworks. So I stamped it on the card, and at first it wasn't, like, sticking. It kept smearing off. So I took some of that triple thick spray that I have and I sprayed that on to kind of seal it. Um, and then I just put some stickers and then I just fussy cut another um, stamp of the fireworks and colored that in again with the red um, stickles in the center of the fireworks. And then this last one, I just took some ribbon, tied that around, um, again, another stamp, and then just colored it and cut it out and stuck it on there. So hanging, excuse the messy room I'm in the middle of packing but um so hanging I think it looks pretty darn cute so as worried as I was about this project um and I'm and as I'm working on it slowly I'm like oh this is going to be garbage and I really don't want to send her garbage but I am actually impressed with how it came out so I hope you guys um like it maybe it gives you some ideas you know I guess you can decorate these in any kind of fashion and then just this ribbon behind, oh, there's Diesel. And then just this ribbon behind it neatly. And I put buttons here because I use my Tim Holtz mini attacher to attach. And then I just cover all the little staple 
with the buttons Whoop, and thought it came out really good. So again, thanks guys for watching. We put these videos up the last Saturday of every month and please check out everyone else involved in the um, collab. Have a great day and have a happy 4th of July.